Good day everyone! Welcome to our discussion in Mathematics for Grade 6. This is your Mathematics Facilitator, Sir Lito Saimurin. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to describe the set of integers and identify real-life situations that make use of it. You are also expected to appreciate the use of integers in daily life situation. And lastly, you will compare integers and arrange them in increasing or decreasing order. Before we start our lesson, I would like to ask you, do you still remember the difference between counting numbers and whole numbers? Counting numbers are numbers we use in counting objects. It starts with 1, 2, 3, 4, and up to infinity, meaning it is endless. Whole numbers are composed of all the counting numbers including 0. Now, think of this class. Do you think numbers play an important part in our lives? Why? Now listen to this class. When you wake up in the morning, we usually look at our clock. Imagine a clock without a number. Another is, we use number to budget our money. For paying water and electricity and other bills. Imagine a money without a number. How's that possible? Can you imagine an elevator without a number? Or let's say, how are you going to determine your height and weight if there are no numbers to represent them? So indeed, numbers play an important part in our lives. Today, we are going to study another type of numbers. So listen carefully and prepare yourself. Now, let's talk about the set of integers. Let us define what integers are. Integers are numbers with signs. So it is sometimes called signed numbers. The signs may be positive represented by the plus sign or negative represented by the minus sign. Therefore, integers are made up of the positive numbers and the negative numbers including zero. Zero has no sign. It is not positive and not negative. It only serves as a reference point between the positive and the negative integers. On the number line, positive integers are found to the right of zero, while the negative integers are found to the left of zero. Positive integers may be written with or without the positive sign. Examples A number 5 with plus sign is read as positive 5. Then, the number 5 without the plus sign is also read as positive 5. Negative integers are always written with the negative sign. Example The number 5 with minus sign is read as negative 5, but if you take away the minus sign, number 5 will be read as positive 5. So, when you want an integer to become a negative, you must always write the negative sign. If I will ask you what integer is 3 units to the left of positive 1, do you know the answer?
the answer is negative 2. From positive 1 going to the left, first unit is 0, second unit is negative 1, and third unit is negative 2. And now, let us study how to compare integers. In comparing integers, remember that on the number line, the value of an integer gets higher as it goes to the right of the number line. And the value of the integer gets lower as it goes to the left of the number line. Remember that all positive integers are bigger than zero, while all the negative integers are smaller than zero. Therefore, the negative integers are also smaller than all the positive integers. Okay? Remember this. The bigger the positive number, the bigger its value. Example, in positive 5 and positive 86, positive 86 is bigger than positive 5 because the number 86 is bigger than 5. This is opposite in negative numbers. The bigger the negative number, the smaller the value. Example, in negative 5 and negative 86, negative 86 is smaller than negative 5. Remember that? So if you were asked which is bigger, positive 5 or positive 9? What will be your answer? Your answer should be positive 9. The bigger the positive number, the bigger its value. Now, if you were asked which is bigger, negative 5 or negative 9, the answer must be negative 5. Because in negative number, the bigger the negative number, the smaller its value. Now class, we go to the last part of our discussion regarding integers. This is now ordering integers. So there are two types of arrangement when we order integer. The first one is increasing order. When we say increasing order, the arrangement is from smallest going to the biggest. Example, so we have negative 10 and then negative 2, then 0, then positive 5, and last is positive 8. Remember that negative 10 is the smallest because it is a big negative number. Remember that the, a bigger negative number means the value is, is smaller. Okay? And then, next is negative 2. So, negative 10 is the is smallest. Posit negative 2 is bigger than negative 10. And then we have 0. 0 is bigger than negative 2. And then we have positive 5. Positive 5 is bigger than 0. And then we have the last, positive 8. Positive 8 is bigger than positive 5. Therefore, it is the biggest. So, negative 10 is the smallest, while positive 8 is the biggest. So, this is increasing order. The arrangement is from smallest to biggest. So, in some other books, increasing order is the same as ascending order. Okay, but now we're going to use increasing order. Okay. Now, let's talk about decreasing order. What is decreasing order? In decreasing order, the arrangement is from the biggest going to the smallest. We have the same example in increasing, but the arrangement is the opposite. So, we start with positive 8. So, positive 8 is the biggest. Next is 
positive 5. Positive 5 is smaller than positive 8. Next is 0. 0 is smaller than positive 5. Next is negative 2. Negative 2 is smaller than 0. And the last is negative 10. Negative 10 is the smallest among the 5 integers. So, in decreasing order, the arrangement is from the biggest going to the smallest. So, that is what you call decreasing order. So, decreasing order is the same as descending order. Okay? I hope that you have already learned the different concept of the set of integers. Also done in comparing and ordering integers and finally i'm gonna share to you some real life situation involving integers there are situations that represent integers say for example money earnings are positive while expenses are negative in playing games, wins are positive, while losses represents negative. In bank accounts, deposits will represent positive, while withdrawals will represent negative. Direction also represent positive and negative. To the right is positive. To the left is negative. Another thing about directions that shows integer, upward is positive while downward shows negative. Aside from all the things that I have shared, there are many other situations that represent integers. I will leave them for you to discover and learn. Thank you for your effort. Until next time, to God be all the glory.